So finally, uh, one of the other questions that um, I was asked to think about, and, and here's what I have to say, is what can business do about inequality? Well, at a macroeconomic level, I would say that businesses should be more friendly. And I think that, uh, interestingly, real economy companies are typically more friendly towards uh, uh, finan uh, public finance that is functional to full employment because they benefit from it directly. So I would say functional finance that is, or finan public finance that is functional to full employment, Abba Lerner is the economist who coined the term functional finance. Uh, I think that should definitely be something on the agenda. A mesoeconomic policy policy of socialized investment, uh, accepting that parts of investment at least will be undertaken by states, uh, uh, also engaging in more in what's called social enterprise, which is more about uh, producing and, 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 and creating skills and, and so on, rather than simply about the bottom line. Uh, microeconomic policy, pursuing policies such as living wage, which um, Alan talked about uh, yesterday, Alan Freeman talked about yesterday, um, on the shop floor, fostering creativity, innovations, uh, uh, skill uh, uh, acquisition, re retention, etc., upgrading, and so on. And finally, and I, this is the note I'd like to end on, increasingly I think that it is necessary going forward from this present crisis um, and I think that for a variety of reasons which we can talk about in the Q&A as well, is that businesses and business people should really see themselves more in, in a broader, broader sense, uh, not as rentiers, not as people whose primary goal is to live off the income of capital, but rather people whose primary goal is, and I, I looked but I couldn't find uh, this, um, Gramsci, uh, 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 Antonio Gramsci calls uh, business people somewhere organizers of men. And I think to see themselves more in that way. Um, uh, Keynes also uh, had a very, very similar uh, 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 perspective on uh, on what uh, what was you know what 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 was a entrepreneur or business person good for. Well, he said that they would be at their best if they completely gave up the idea that they should gain from the scarcity value of capital. He looked forward to the day when capital would have no scarcity value, and he said though the rentier would disappear in his scenario, that is to say people who simply make money off the fact that they own capital, there would nevertheless still be room for enterprise and skill in the estimation of prospective yields about which opinions could differ. For the above relates primarily to the pure rate of interest apart from any allowance for risk and the like and not to the gross yield of assets including return in respect of risk. That is to say business people then would play the function of seeking out opportunities, really taking risks rather than the present situation where they, they take inordinate risks but they never suffer from the consequences of those risks. So they actually take risks, they, they, they find new opportunities, they develop and dynamize society. I think that would be uh, uh, something that I would um, put forward as, as a self-image that perhaps businesses um, not only should have but I think are increasingly going to have in the uh, years to come. Thank you.